Hey guys, welcome back to another part in the deep playthrough of Uncharted The Lost Legacy. We are just starting like a puzzle, I guess activating this will trigger all kinds of fountains, pressure plates that we have to step on and make our way all across towards what I'm guessing is a door that will be opened at the other side. Um, this is the last uh, structure that we have to activate with like these uh, uh, yeah, waterfall mechanisms. We already activated two and when, once all three are activated, uh, some other contraption probably will um, uh, get into motion. We will see about that. First we will have to get through here. Let's check it out. And also check out if there's not like treasure hidden in plain sight or in a little nook or cranny i already checked out this area at the ending of the last episode pretty thoroughly so i will uh yeah assume there are no little treasures here anymore anyways here we go hmm. okay that's not it <sighs> no this what's the trick here what? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. All right, a time section again, probably. Starting with the first one, I guess. Here goes nothing. That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. One of the spokes on the wheel? Ah, it actually, it's not timed. So we can just casually make our way to those cocks and turn them, I hope. Not really a big fan of and how about timed sections. That's two. Right, good work. Where was the other one? Not there, I guess. Yes, there's the other one. Another one, not the other one. Here's another one. Three down. Very good. And... Oh, nothing here. But there's one Found here. You. Only one left. Where was the other one? Ah, there it is. On the elephant. <coughs> what was this, by the way? Uh, I thought maybe there was a treasure on top. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back right. to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever yeah, the big archaeological wheel term thing. Is. But I'm um, big wheel thing works. One moment, guys. I actually have no idea whether I restarted the recording correctly. One sec. Am I that stupid? Seriously. Am I that stupid? Um, one sec, guys. I have to double check something. No, that went pretty well, I guess. We are correctly in the new recording. I did want to double check that. We are four and a half minutes in, and I will set the timer for 30 minutes from now. All right, had to do that, sorry. Um, what I wanted to check out is that door all the way at the beginning. There's a door over there. Ah, now it's 
Is it now open? No, this is where we came in. There's a door over there. Over here, I mean. It really doesn't do anything, but... Alright, probably we have to do something with that mechanism at the other side. Maybe then it will open. I have no idea. I actually do like the art design here. I have, I find it, yeah, I've never been in India, but to me it looks way more like South America, like Incas a bit or something. But wh wherever it is, I do like the, um, the design. And over there in the mountain, it's like the, so to the right of the tower in the mountain, is like the next, uh, it, yeah, that's like the, the, the big mechanism that probably will be activated once we have all three waterfalls running. Let's check it out. Hey. You did it. Goddamn right I did. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> <coughs> All right, now what? Did I see a little treasure? Not really, and we do need quite some more actually. Uh, whatever. By the way, that Queen's Ruby is also still on. I didn't notice anything, uh, it, it doing anything. It should like glow and rumble once you are near treasures There's our faucet. but um yeah i'm probably just too much into the game to notice anything uh, it does any treasures people any flickering thingies I don't think they will be drawn anyway from this distance but whatever we and you already see some water running from that mechanism in the mountain any who we are going to activate the last waterfall and also quickly just enjoying the view isn't this like a photo moment i would really assume this to be like a, a picture location just looking at it it was a pretty fun um level i must say i'm not really sure i'm i'm that much of a, a fan of open world design in like adventure games it's a bit of a hybrid and then i'm really like either you do the open world thing or you do like a more story focused uh, linear adventure but yeah i don't maybe it's not a bad thing a bit of both okay but uh, but it did feel to me slightly a bit buggy like the ai crapping out quite often and uh, yeah chloe not clinging to ledges it, it feels yeah it feels like a tad slightly less polished than like uh, the main triple a releases of the uh, in the uncharted series like not dlc uh, uh, equivalent stuff in my book anyways we have to do another puzzle oh no over here one trident coming up all right like so and like oh what the hell that's not fair yeah they're pretty annoying i must say like so 
Like maybe so. No, we want to move the outer one. Ah, like so. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Hello, Come Ganesh. On. Let's get the server and done with. Yep. Here we go. See? Come on, Chloe. I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Now what? Here we go. Let there be water. And now that's three. Very good. Get you know, the hell over there. Pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free, and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. I was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. All right. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. People right, could never out. lift like her. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. Oh, no fun. Concrete wool like that. But whatever. Suspension of disbelief. I'm still a bit puzzled about. Incoming reinforcements. Figures. Hello. Brothers, where are you? You see? Do a sweep. Ross and Fraser might still be here. Come on, not too many. Uh, a lot of them. So annoying. I think I'm simply going to not even engage them. No way I imagined that. All right, Nadine, you do your thing. I am not going to go through another annoying right. stealth section. Screw this. I mean, not engaging them is also stealth, right? Because figuring their patterns and taking them all out, it's just a bit too annoying. And they probably are all at the back as well. Like the funnel that we have to get through. Yes, there they are. Two or three of them. Two of them at least. The other guy turns around. Might be able to take out his buddy over here. Yes. Alright, that's at least one down. Man. I don't like this. This is a bit too much in my book. 
for sure. I mean, there are not that many, I guess. So there are, I think there were five in total. And getting to them will, I uh, can be spotted by the guys over there, I guess. So I do need to take, take them out, I guess, from over here. But this is just a bit too much in my book. I mean, we just had like this major annoying stealth section and now just a bit cheaply throwing more guys into the mix. It's just a bit stupid, I find. All right, where is that dude? Oh, there he is. So how can I get him silently? Just try it from over here, but probably his body will notice. Yeah, they will notice, right? No, he's now walking away. That guy to the left, I'm a bit worried about. Nice. Wasn't expecting this to work. All right, so there's a dude over there. Over there is the heavy in the grass. I should take him out from the back. Otherwise he will see me. We have that dude over there. I have no idea how to get to him. Unless they are actually moving about. Holy shit, there are actually more of them. What the hell do you expect me to do? They really want like another big fighting sequence. That's like exactly what I do not want. just stupid like I just finished like this whole uh, stealth section and now it's like doing it all over again That's, this is like in my book a cheap way of extending the uh, playtime seriously I will try to quickly see what happens if I immediately book it to the uh, right. All right. to the exit? Last one back to the car buys dinner. But this is really, no, no, really fine. cheap tactics. Fraser might still be here. Come on! Oh. Come on. Shit! Over here! I have them! Surround her! Alright, this really is like not cool at all. Alright, I will try it one more time just to try to sprint through it. Uh, restart a checkpoint. Yes. And otherwise, I will end the episode here. And because it's quite a difficult section, I will do it at the start of a new episode so that I can exclude any failed attempts. I will not. I will not be editing the footage. Right. If I want to exclude stuff, right. I will here. simply. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. No, no fun need to have that at the start of like of like a recording so that all right this is 
so annoying. Um, anyways, I, I will do it at the start of the next episode so that any failed attempts I can simply um, keep out of the um, uh, footage. I will only upload a successful attempt. And up front, of course, I'm not sure which one that will be. So that's why I want to have the difficult section at the start so that if I fail, I can simply disregard it stop the recording and start a new when i do a, a new try so but this is actually not what i was expecting i find it really cheap tactics like these uh, yeah maybe if you're going guns blazing through the game it's a bit more easy but um yeah i find the gunplay not that engaging in this game so uh, i will try to do it stealthily but it's it's like yeah dumb this is like identical to what i did like before cranking that waterfall wheel trying to um, yeah get their patterns down and taking them out stealthily and yeah like like redoing that like one minute later it's it's like yeah it almost feels like like a punishment of some sort for i don't know for what but whatever I will uh, continue the, this section in the next episode and will only upload, of course, the successful run. Hope to see you there, guys. This was a short episode. Hope you still enjoyed it somewhat. Uh, for the meantime, do not forget, keep on gaming. See you later.